Hello there. You may remember a little while back I mentioned in my Castle Acre video, I think it was the part one of that, that I'd lost my barrier card key. It had fallen down the, the side of the sofa and the kitchen unit and I had absolutely no idea I was going to get it back. Uh, I, I reported it to the reception and they gave me a replacement barrier card key but uh, uh, I have to charge ten pounds for the, for that replacement. So I, I thought I was determined to to get the the card back. So um, I, when I mentioned it in the video, I had a few comments on the video, but I also posted in the community page on the channel uh, all about it and uh, and took a picture of it. And uh, I said that I'd award a prize for anyone who's came up with the winning method of retrieving it. So I had loads of suggestions about how to retrieve it. And what I want to do in this video is go through some of those suggestions. Some of them are hilarious. And uh, I want to show you how I actually did retrieve it and award a prize for the person who got it correct. So here are some of the suggestions. Chewing gum on a knitting needle. Uh, that was suggested by the Moto Miles. Magnet on a string, said Elizabeth Spears. Bob Mackay suggested using chopsticks with blue tack. I couldn't find any chopsticks and I don't think I've got any blue tack either. Sorry, Bob. Uh, wire coat hanger, Chris Needham said. An airline compressor, uh, said Mrs. What well, a couple of people suggested that. Mrs. T, Mr. and Mrs. T and Cheryl suggested that. SWD man 1234 said use a chainsaw and blame it on the dog. And claim on the insurance, obviously, presumably. Meg said a folded sheet of newspaper, sellotape on a long knife or something thin from favourites, uh, compressed air again to blow it out. So that was DJ Stevie Babe, Baby and Lloyd Goodwin. A bobby pin sellotape to the end of a ruler or wire court coat hanger, said Charlie Ringe. A hairdryer, another suggestion from Mr and Mrs T, a second attempt there. A selfie stick with blue tack, said Mark Hill. Helen Sparks suggested a long bendy ruler. A very powerful vacuum cleaner, said First Motorhome. My, that would have to be a powerful vacuum cleaner. A tape measure, uh, said RV Life Canada and Labradors on tour. Magnet fishing, that came up again. Unfortunately I don't think the car's actually magnetic, so I don't think I could fish it out with a, a magnet, said Amy Dickerson. A large piece of paper, said Ian Morg. Cut a card into an L shape and hook it out. And that was from the from Favourites again. Uh, a loop of gaffer tape stuck onto a ruler, said Graham. A fish slice, suggested Richard Mander. A long uh, skewer or some plastic strapping, Janice Bradbeer said. A long steel ruler, said Neil H. Uh, Someone suggested removing the grills for better access. That was Sarah Jane Belfield. Um, there are some grills under there, but there's only one grill and it didn't really give me any better access. So nice idea. A shatterproof ruler with blue tack, said JJKK. A fishing hook, uh, said Bob Brigside. Just on tour suggested loosening the seat screws and hopefully moving the seat box out of the way. Well, I could do that. I think that was a little bit drastic, but uh, I had to actually, funny enough, I had to unbolt the panel at the back of the seat to retrieve a remote control. So there was another, there's another gap there. I need to do something about these gaps uh, between the furniture. I'll come on to that perhaps in another video. Um, Neil Venson said he's got no idea. Jack Bridgewater suggested a wooden spatula. It's a little bit narrow for a spatula or something like that. Barbara, Widers Barbara Widowson said a radiator brush. Again, I think it's a little bit too narrow for that. Dave Allen said a thin piece of cardboard with super glue on it. Andrew Ellis su suggested a long piece of thin metal or plastic. Julie Swift said a thin piece of cardboard with some sellotape stuck on it. Corrugated cardboard was Stephen Oliver's suggestion. Al Kay said cut a piece of plastic container into an L shape and hook it out. Rob Wake said a flexible grabber tool. Now I've seen those on, um, I think Draper do them. They're quite interesting. But again, I think it was a little bit too too wide. And favourites came back with their third suggestion, which was a 30 centimetre ruler. George and Jane said a thin piece of material with honey or some sticky stuff on it. So here's how I got the card out. 
Right, let me try and show you where this card has fallen. It's fallen in this gap down here and you see it's just about a finger width wide. If I shine a torch in there I can just about see, I don't think it shows up on the camera, I can just about see the card. It's towards me and it's in a sort of a dip. So there's a sort of a uh, difficult to describe. I suppose it's where, yeah, it must be. It's where this floor ends. And if if I could get to it, if I could get anywhere near it, it would be it would be about there. In fact. I can just see the edge of the card, but there's no way it's coming out of there. The thought I'd do is try a ruler. Drop the ruler. Yeah, I'm just about touch it with the ruler. So what I thought I'd try first is I've got a bit of double-sided tape, and that's really quite sticky. So I've got to be careful not to stick it to the cupboard. Let's see if I can get. Reach the car that way. No, nope, it didn't work at all. Try it wrap around the ruler. The danger there is it's going to stick. Yeah, it's going to stick to the blooming thing. This stuff is really sticky. Attempt two with double sided tape. Ah, moved it then. Trouble is, the rulers sort of bending. Oh, nearly, nearly got it. Got to try and not put too much. Got it! Yay! <laughs> yeah, so I'll have a look through the comments and see who suggested using... Well, someone suggested using a ruler. I don't think anyone suggested using double-sided tape. That was just my idea. But finally got it out. There you go. I can send that back and get me £10 back. And I think... I'm going to have to think about something to put in that gap because that's going to swallow other things as well so like someone suggested like um, uh, what's it called expanding foam might be might not be big enough for that I might need like um, trim or some sort of trim around there just a bit is a bit daft leaving such a blooming big gap there so I think the first person who suggested, it wasn't actually the, the exact method, but the first person who suggested using a steel rule was Neil H. A couple of people have suggested using a bendy rule, but the steel, but because the steel rule was long enough, it, it reached in there, and I put a bit of double-sided tape on it, as you can see, and that, that hooked it out. But uh, it was Neil H who basically gave me the idea, and it was something that I had to hand. Um, all good fun. Thanks for the suggestions. And Neil H, if you're watching this, uh, contact me on this video. Leave a, leave a message. I'll need your address because you've won a couple of uh, £10 vouchers for the Caravan Club. And uh, well, there's a couple of vouchers. It might be one voucher for £20. 
and uh, if you give us your address uh, in an email that I'll send you then um, we'll get those vouchers off to you. So I hope you found this interesting, a little bit different. Uh, so if you did give us a thumbs up, if you haven't already please subscribe, it helps the channel. If you leave a comment that helps the channel as well and I'll see you soon in the next one.